Public access has been very important to Highland Park since its inception. It started before I joined it, and I've been uh, in it at least 20 years. I don't know when it started exactly. Uh, that was in 1985, I believe, when cable was run from Omnicom, or was it Capital Cities Cable, or Post Newsweek Cable. There have been so many owners of the cable franchise, I don't remember anymore. The Highland Park Public Access Television Center was initiated in 2008 when Comcast came to the city and informed them that they would be closing their local public access studio. We have partnered with the villages of Deerfield and Winnetka to operate the center and air their uh, government access channels and then public access channels. You know, but Highland Park, we are very, very lucky that we had a mayor and we had city council on our side that they really wanted to save it. I was very proud of them for stepping up to the plate. I really was. I thought it was, I think this is a good organization for a city to have whether it's a senior group or just a citizens group. I think the voice of the people in a town is very important. They should be heard. Very grateful to the city of Highland Park and uh, the other cities that cooperate, like Deerfield and Winnetka, uh, to make it available. It's just sensational for a community to have such a facility like this. You know, this is literally two minutes away from me. I can't go wrong. So, and I mean, it, it's just accessible for everybody on the North Shore. We have this lovely, lovely space that's been built for us by the city of Highland Park at the downstairs level of the police department. What happens here is we put together shows, and I think people would have no idea what goes into a television show unless they'd done it. It's a professional uh, studio. Uh, the pe people here are professional. The studio is professional. It's a lot of fun. Public access also provides a training ground for people who just want to express themselves. I know several people who've utilized their experience on cable TV, specifically Highland Park Public Access, to make a career out of what their experience has taught them. One of the biggest reasons why I love what I do and I would not be doing what I'm doing today if I hadn't had the experiences that I had over there. I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, it was bewildering. My goodness, look at all that equipment. How could I possibly do that? But you just jump in and do it. And by doing that, you learn. And the, and the staff is always very nice and very helpful. Because it was so great to be talking about video production and then be able to walk three feet into an office with a professional who'd been doing it for 25 years and say, how do we do this or what, you know, what's your opinion on that? And you know, that, that's just, it's so invaluable. You're taught in all the different aspects of being in a TV studio. I went from knowing very little about television to knowing something about television and being able to work in a control room and, uh, and get a show taped and out there. And it's also it's good for the seniors because it's not just that it gives us something to do and keeps us busy, it makes us think and we develop new skills. I've learned uh, how much I didn't know, basically. Uh, I've also learned how much I really enjoy this. I look forward to doing it. Uh, I do it more than just coming in here for senior producers. But I've learned a lot about you know how everything works and, and how people work together and and how you keep people working together. It's kind of nice. The next week we would hear people talking to us about how they had seen the show because they are flipping through the channel. And then it's also being broadcast. So people are watching it. I mean, you have an actual audience, you know? And then we're, uh, we're on 18 t so it's not just local. It is also in other counties and other cities. And she said, I saw your show. I flipped on the, the TV and I was riveted. I couldn't, wow. It was so interesting, and I thought, how many people do that? Oh, absolutely. I get comments all the time about the show. Um, they know our host. They've been watching him for over 10 years. The thing that I enjoy the most about coming here is I get a chance to work with a lot of different people with different capabilities and different talents. And the people that we met, and these are connections that I've maintained for my entire professional career. But I, I enjoy uh, making the connections, meeting all the different people. Literally the sense of community that's built by the people coming together to do an activity. It takes a village. It's not, it's not a one-man operation. Is different about public access than about modern day YouTube is the, the experiences that you get working with other people who know what they're doing and who can teach you how to do what you want to do better than you're doing it. Amazing people. 
the camaraderie that we've built uh, between our people that are on our crew and people from different shows that produce different shows and the staff here is amazing. You're not going to get the kinds of things we put on to public access when you flip on a commercial television program. And that's one of the things you don't have unless you buy it when you're doing a commercial production. This is a community television enterprise. And voice their opinion. We're able to talk about things that are happening in town as well as surrounding communities. But there's a, we have a lot of people, we have a lot of things here in Highland Park that we're grateful for. And this is one of them. We're promoting Highland Park. We're telling our story about what goes on here. Where else is that going to happen? There is like a glut of just information out there. And I do think having one specific point that you can go to, to get information on the community, see what other people are doing, and get a really wide variety of stuff, um, I think is great. Well, I think it's a good way to get the message out to the community. No matter what the message is, if it's something that involves the community and they should know about it, this is one access. It lets the people of the community as well as other communities know what's going on in a way that they ordinarily wouldn't have access to finding out the information very easily. It just leads to so many different things and, and it, honestly it enriches uh, the life of the viewer. Oh, somebody shot a, an arrow through my heart. Oh, I was really very upset because I really thought that it was over for us. You can't take away public access because then you take away information. And when an informed citizen is the best kind of citizen. I thought that might produce some hardships for us. I don't know exactly what we do without it. It's a huge interest in my life. That would make me sad if there was no local TV. Well, the potential is it's, it's as far as you want to take it. You know, how, how, how creative is your producer? This station does a phenomenal service, not just locally, but over a broader area. It would be wonderful if it was even broader because the shows are so important. It is a contribution into the community. If they help support this kind of an activity and help it grow and blossom, then it will help everybody. Supporting public access or supporting a new TV studio or TV station. You know, the first analogy I think of is, you know, why do restaurants um, and pizza places and plumbing places and auto shops sponsor Little League? It, it's a sense of building community and of doing the right thing as opposed to doing the, the, the monetarily efficient thing. It's exposure. It's exposure to your neighbors, to the area that you are operating in. And I'm sure everybody's looking for a little more business these days. Basically selfless cross promotion because you're doing this for the community and with the community. Oh, supporting public access television brings you returns that commercial television can't. First of all, it's local. Second of all, it means that you are supporting community activity you get a greater return on your investment by being recognized as associated with public access television than you do from buying space in a commercial publication. Anybody can buy space. Not everybody can support a community endeavor. I mean, if, especially if you're a store or an industry that's, that's locally based, you're trying to get more and more to those local people. And I think to have that central hub through cable access, also putting it on the internet, you can reach a lot more people who are targeted specifically to your market. And I think that's the challenge for any local business. Well, businesses should have more of a focus just on taking in revenue and providing a service. They should also give back to the community, like the volunteers here do. Part of supporting the arts is supporting public access television in Highland Park. That I cannot state enough. The public needs to have access. And it's just so worthwhile to have this facility available to anybody in the community. Because we have grown. In just the past year that's been Highland Park Public Access, it, it has grown. We've, we've come so far and I, I, we're going to see it, you know, we're going to follow it through and get it to the next level as well. Hopefully we'll uh, realize the the value we provide to the community and to the residents of the community and uh, help us continue and expand that. 
The potential for expression through public access television is unlimited. If a creative mind has something they want to bring to the public, they can. The facilities are available because of the foresight of some of the community leaders. And we would not be the people who we are today if it weren't for the cable company.